Anton at Legend Automotive. Today we're doing a drive shaft on a 05 Subaru. This client came in for a major vibration concern, so we diagnosed it down to the drive shaft. And I'll show you how to replace it. Here are some of the tools that will be needed to do this job. Half inch gun, optional if you don't have one. You can use a long uh, breaker bar. A flathead screwdriver, a tranny plug if you have one. I'm using a 14 mil swivel socket. Just any regular 14 mil will work as well. Small extension, 12 mil wrench. All right, so here we go. Once you undo the vehicle, you're gonna see your exhaust. You may have a heat shield and then the drive shaft's hiding underneath. In this case, this car's modified. He has a aftermarket exhaust and no heat shield, which makes it easier to replace on this one. So if you do have a stock vehicle, it may look a little different. And as well for the heat shield, it will be four 12 mil bolts, two at the front by the O2 sensor and two at the back. So after you've loosened the 12 mil bolts, you kind of just bring it down and then it'll expose the drive shaft. All right, so to start this process, uh, we're at the back of the car right now. We're at this cover. So it's held by six 14 mil bolts, three right here as you can see, and then there's three on the opposite side. All right, so next step, you want to unbolt this U-joint. One thing you got to remember is the vehicle has to be off the ground, all four wheels, and vehicle neutral. I use this long screwdriver, jam it in there, grab your 12 mil wrench, and loosen them off. That's what it looks like. There's four of those. Spin it around until you see the other bolt. Jam your screwdriver in there. And she comes free like that. All right, so after you're done at the back of the drive shaft, center bracket comes off. There's two uh, 14 mil bolts. When you're doing the last one, make sure you hold on to that drive shaft so it doesn't fall on your face. Now you're ready to slide it back out of the transmission and take it down. All right, so if you don't have one of those tranny plugs, make sure you have a tray to catch the fluid because it will come up. All right, now it's time to install the new drive shaft. So get yourself an opening, slide it in there, pop your tranny plug, Slide it in. Line it up, make sure it's spline properly. There you go. Is this the right one? Maybe. All right, once it's uh, slid into the transmission, let's put the bolts back into the bracket. Then the one at the back. All right, so once the two bolts are back into the bracket, we're gonna get to the U-joint and, and put the four bolts back in. Make sure the holes are lined up with the flange. Slide in the bolts and then nut and spacer at the back. Hand tight, 
spin the drive shaft, put the rest of them in. All right, so once they're uh, finger tight, grab a screwdriver, use it as an anchor still, and then it's tighten them up further. Okay. All right, and last step, let's put our cover back on. All right guys, so that's how you replace your drive shaft on your Subaru. Hopefully you like the video. Hey guys, Anton from Legit Automotive. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, pretty, good, <laughs> pretty good episode start. <laughs> of course it's a Subaru. And the phone. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say no more. Words. I know. Doing a drive shaft on Subaru. On Subaru. <laughs> on Subaru. This client came in for a major vibration concern and we diagnosed it down to the drive shaft. So I'll show you how to do it. Why are you bouncing? I diagnosed it down to the drive shaft. I'll show you how to replace it. You're still bouncing. Oh yeah, I did too. <laughs> It's not the right way. That's so I'll try to like, do as best uh, as possible. 